So my friends, this is the Samsung 55 Q700T. This is the entry level 8K model from Samsung and it's only available in Europe and the UK. It's not available in the United States, but I wouldn't worry too much about it guys because the TV is not very good. However, as the title of this video said, there is the most incredible offer on at the moment with this Samsung TV that makes it pretty much a non-brainer to purchase. It really is one of the most incredible TV deals that we've seen. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Okay, so rather than making you wait until the end of the video, I'll give you the reason why I think you should buy this TV. And it's nothing to do with the TV because this TV is a big disappointment in so many ways. This is the entry level 8K, but it's only a 55 or a 65 inch version. Who needs 8K for that purpose? It does a reasonable job of upscaling and I'll come on to that in just a second. But if you purchase this TV at the moment before the 6th of November 2020, then you can get a free Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now, that is worth at least £1,300 alone. This TV, the one that I purchased, was £1,999, which effectively means you're getting an 8K TV for £700. Now, that is the deal of the year, without doubt. So, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check that out for yourself. But let's talk a little bit more about the TV, because without doubt there are some things which are disappointing, but also it's not that bad. It's not terrible, once you bear in mind that deal. So this being the entry level 8K TV, it certainly isn't as good looking as something like the 900 or the 950. So initially reports were a little bit sketchy with regard to HDMI 2.1, but from what we understand there are three 2.0s and one 2.1 port. HDMI port 3 is the enhanced audio return channel and this TV does have the benefit of having some cable management built into the back. Now it's not the greatest looking but at least it's there. Certainly we didn't see any type of cable management on the majority of the LG range this year so at least you can hide some of those cables. In terms of the pack is very similar to most Samsung packs and because this is more of a premium TV believe it or not you do get that brushed steel second remote control. Size wise it's just over three centimeters thick so again perfectly thick and it's completely straight across the back so you can put this hard up against the wall if you are going to be wall mounting it. It's not going to cause you any issue at all. If you are going to be leaving this on the stand then that stand from front to back is around about 26, 26 and a half centimeters around 10, 10 and a half inches. So the aesthetics of this TV is really good. I think it looks great on the stand there and it would look great on the wall. The other thing I think it did a really good job of was upscaling standard TV. This is just standard definition TV and it says it's got an artificial intelligence 8K upscaling and I think it did a pretty good job of that. And when we did this head to head against the LG CX OLED, you'll be amazed at the difference. And I'll do a video showing you that because it is worth a separate video. So make sure you hit the red button. Also for the YouTube algorithm, I'd really appreciate it if you did give this a like because that does help with the cost of all of these TVs that we are purchasing at the moment. Right guys, this has lots of the features that you'd expect from the Samsung Tizen software. It has picture in picture. It's got a great menu system. I absolutely love the menu system on the Samsung TVs. There is so much that you can do. Local dimming, <laughs> that is something which this is a little bit shocking at for a TV at this price point. What you have to bear in mind guys when you're watching this review video is that do not even consider buying this TV if it's £2,000 which is the standard price of this TV because it's not worth it. That is why they're offering you a £1,300 phone for this TV at £1,999. It just is not worth it. You may as well go out and get the Samsung Q80. Well, the, maybe not the Q80, but you may as well go and get the Q90 or the Q95 because that is far better value. I do like that this TV has that remote, which is the brushed steel effect, the aluminium look. It really does feel premium and it's a pleasure to use. Another thing that I was impressed with is the sound quality of this TV. It does have the object tracking AI enhanced sound and it 
it did do a very good job. Let me just play you a little bit of this so that you because can get an so idea. Because we're so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? So yeah, I'm not sure how that came across for you guys, obviously it depends on what you're listening to it on, but it's far more bass than what I've seen in some of the previous models and some of the similar price models, and that object tracking, it was surprisingly effective and it did actually move or seem to move from one side of the screen to the other. So I was quite impressed with that. But there are a lot of things that are wrong about this TV and why you should never ever pay the full price unless you're getting it with that amazing deal which I mentioned right at the beginning. And that that, unfortunately, does come down to some of the things which are just missing on this TV, not included, or are just uh, below standard. So, without doubt, the biggest problem with this TV is the fact that this is just a 60 hertz panel, and it needs to be 120 hertz. It's going to cause problems later on. You're not future-proofing yourself. Yes, you do have those HDMI 2.1 ports, but when the whole panel is just 60 hertz, it really does cause you a problem. And I wouldn't spend anywhere near £2,000 on a panel of at 60 hertz. It's just crazy. In this day and age, I don't know what Samsung was thinking about. So this TV doesn't have Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos. It also delivers a worse HDR content performance, and that is also a little bit frustrating. This TV is also nowhere near as bright as others in the range, and it has fewer local dimming zones. In fact, there's half compared to the Q800. So yes, it is 8K, but in my opinion, there's just not the content to support it, and unless you've got a really huge set, it's definitely not worth it yet. So in this next shot, I've zoomed in as close as I can, and you can pretty much see every individual pixel. And it is impressive that it still delivers a picture at this closeness, but you just wouldn't see that it being that good on a 4K. But from a distance, you just don't really see it. This does have the ambient mode feature, which a lot or pretty much all of the range of Samsung TVs this year do. And again, that's nice. It's a nice feature and it looks good and it's just something else that you can do with your TV. But really, it's down to the headline of what this TV can or cannot do. And you can just get a similar performing TV, if not better performing, when it comes to motion rates, for a lot less money. So my friends, if you really do feel the need to get an 8K TV, because you can tell your friends then you've got an 8K TV, well, then now's the, probably the right time to get this one because with that deal, it makes this TV worth around 700 pounds. In reality, it's probably not worth much more than a thousand pounds anyway, guys. So just bear that in mind. I would definitely go for the Q90T or the Q95T if you had the choice between the two. But guys, I will also be showing you a full head-to-head -head with this one against the LG CX. This is a quick demo, as you can see. The uh, Samsung is on the left, the LG is on the right, and we'll go into a little bit of detail of how well it performed against that OLED. So if you're interested in that, then make sure that you hit the red button to subscribe. But in the meantime, my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful, and you never know, you may be able to get yourself an absolute bargain of an 8k tv for around 700 pounds with that foam thrown in guys let me know what your thoughts are see you on the next